uh, new clause A uh, regarding the meaning of integrity. I call the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Chairman, I've made the point that I've never seen a bill that is so much the opposite of what it purports to be titled. It's titled the Electoral Integrity Bill. And what I'm proposing to do with this amendment, and never in the history of Parliament has it been so important for us to actually define for members of Parliament what integrity means. And my amendment says that integrity should mean working in such a way that reflects the democratic will of the people. And it also says that integrity means that members of Parliament act consistent with the principles on which they are elected. And I particularly want to challenge the Green Party on this definition of integrity and invite them to support it. Because I have never witnessed in this Parliament the situation where a member says a bill is anti-democratic, a bill is awful, a bill is a threat to democracy, a bill is against our party principles, a party is against our policies, but we will vote for it. Now, any member of this House believe that's acting with integrity? Does the members of the Labour Party, would they, the New Zealand First Party, do they believe that that is acting with integrity. I cannot get a whimper out of any member in the House. Can any member on the government benches tell me that what the Green Party is doing on this bill is acting with integrity? The silence is deafening, absolutely deafening, because it is not acting with integrity. I'll tell you what is acting with integrity. When Michael Cullen, in 1998, introduced a bill to this House to do the same thing, National opposed it and outlined our principles. And when the same bill was introduced in 2002, we voted against it at first reading, at second reading and third reading. And when a bill very similar to this was introduced a third time in 2005, guess what? National argued for the values of a liberal democracy and opposed it. And equally so today. We stand in this House again opposing this bill. And here's the part that I'm ashamed of. The only political party in the House today defending the fundamentals of our liberal democracy is the New Zealand National Party. Now, I have never thought in my parliamentary career, I have differences with members opposite, but I never thought I would have a difference with you on the fundamental tenet of a parliamentary democracy that members of parliament be able to speak freely in this House without a guillotine hanging over them. And so I say this bill is completely lacking in integrity and the very least that we can do is to provide a definition of what integrity means. Can I see the member for New Zealand first in the House? and give them an example of what integrity is not. I stood on the platform of candidates at multiple meetings, and the New Zealand First candidates said that they were completely opposed to 1080. They were going to ban it. And then they joined the government and they doubled the use of it. Now, does that appear to members on my side of the House as acting with integrity? Let me see what my definition says. That members of Parliament act consistently with the principles on which they are elected. So I say to the member from New Zealand first, why did you tell the voters that you're opposed to 1080 and then joined the government that doubled its use? Now I personally, well, the member raises the question of dead rat, and that is entirely appropriate for this bill, given that here's the extraordinary part. A minister in the government has described this bill as a dead rat. A dead rat. So I put to this House, is voting for a bill that you think has the characteristics of a dead rat, is that acting with integrity? Well, come on, I, I'd love to hear a contribution. I've never seen 
members of the opposition hang their heads so low, and so they should. And equally, I have to say to members opposite, integrity actually is at the core of what we stand for in this parliament. It's under attack with this bill, and that is why we should support this amendment. Um, I call the Honourable Jackie Dean. Mr Chair, I too... Uh